hello friends welcome back and in the previous video you have seen that how we created our image thumbnails using photoshop actions and in this video i gonna show you how to use those image thumbnails using html5 and css3 to create your image gallery okay so for recap i gonna show you what we are going to build so this is our final project that we are going to build and this was our responsive image gallery okay and let's continue building our image gallery so let me show you guys the directory structure for our project so you can see that we have this directory structure it has a img for all of our images and thumbnails for our all thumbnails that we have generated in our previous video this is a file gallery.html and it has another file main.css which contains all of our css codes and let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video you are going to learn how to use css3 media queries and calc function and also you are going to learn how to use figure element and fig caption element in your own projects so let's jump into our text editor I am using brackets text editor here as you can see that I have already imported my project folder which is responsive gallery using HTML5 and CSS3 into my text editor okay and you can see that I have a simple HTML5 template here you can see that it has a doc type declaration root HTML element and a head section which contains our title a meta element for character encoding and second meta element to tell the browsers about to set the viewport size equal to the device width and set its initial scale to 1.0 okay and we have also linked our main.css file using link element and after the head section we have a body element and inside this body element we have three things first one is header for our header and second element is our footer these header and footer are html5 elements and you can see that uh, i have this main element okay so this main element is the html5 element and inside this main element we are going to create our gallery so for that i am going to use the section element so i'll write section and inside this section i gonna go ahead and create a figure element and figure element is the html5 element which is used to contain images code snippets illustration and canvas element audio video etc okay hit enter and here i gonna create an anchor element so because i want to create links to our thumbnails so i will create an anchor element and give it a href attribute and then i gonna create img element inside this anchor element and give it a source of our thumbnail which is inside thumb and thumb1.jpg you can see that inside this thumb folder here okay and then i gonna go ahead and apply some attributes to our anchor element first of all i'm going to give it an attribute of alt which is alternative text for our anchor element so i gonna give it a alternative text for img 001 and then i'm also going to give it an attribute of title and give it a value of image 001 okay now let's go ahead and create a fig caption element so i gonna go ahead and write fig caption inside this figure element and provide the caption for this image so i'll write digital photo graphy 001 now what i am going to do i am going to paste all other elements figure elements that i have already created okay so 
I am going to my snippet.txt file and here you can see that I have already created or generated those files so I just going to grab all this figure element here and go to my HTML file direct after this figure element I am going to paste all these figure elements the only difference is that the alt that I have provided to my first image is image 2 ok and title is ok and everything is now ok now now we are going to use CSS3 to style and design this gallery ok so let's see its preview in our browser what it looks like here you can see that we have inserted all of our thumbnails into our HTML document and you can see its preview here okay now let's jump into our CSS file and here you can see that we have some basic styles already applied I have already reset the default margin and padding of our common elements that we are using in this project so you can see that I have also included figure and fig caption elements to player their margins and paddings and I have provided uh, font size of 15 pixels to our root element or this is the base font size font size and you can also see that <clears throat> I have already applied the font family to my body element and it has a header and footer stylings for these styles this is the footer and this is the header now let's start styling our section element okay so what I am going to do so first of all uh, uh, let's write styles for our main element so I'll write main and I'll give it a width of 80% and margin I am going to give it a 2 RAM from top and bottom and auto from left and right so that it will center the main element ok so let's write some styles for our section element so let's see its preview first here you can see that we have centered our main element now let's jump here and write section and we gonna give it a width of 100% okay and let's give it a padding of 1 RAM from top and bottom and 0 from left and right okay now let's go ahead and start styling the figure elements okay so first of all we are going to target the anchor element inside our figure element so I'll write figure and then target the anchor element by writing A and inside in here I am going to set the display property of A element to block and this is very important because we are going to apply it a height and height can only be applied to a block element so it's important to set its display property to block and let's give it a height of 100% let's set its margin left to 1 RAM so I'll write margin left 1 RAM and let's set its width to calc 100% minus 2 RAM and also I'm going to select our figure and then inside this I wanna select the IMG element by using element selector IMG and then give it a width of 100% and set its vertical align property to middle and also I gonna give it a margin bottom of 0 pixel now let's see its preview in our browser and now you can see that we have this layout here and uh, hit refresh once and now we have created this and now we are going to write media queries to style for the different viewport size so let's do that minimize this and direct after this section elements pseudo selectors I gonna create a media query so let's see 
uh, at what size we need to write our media query but before that let's style our fig caption okay so here i gonna just write figure and inside this i gonna look for fig caption okay and let's give it a background of found f39 f3 f and give it a color of white and let's set its text length property to center and give it a padding of 0.7 dm from all the sides and margin from 0 from top and bottom and 1 dm from left and right and now let's write our media queries here i wanna write at media only screen and max width so i'll write max width and what should be our max width so let's see where it requires so you can see that here we need to write our media query to stop <coughs> the line break of this text so we can and make thumbnails little larger okay so this time we're gonna write about 1024 pixels of max width and we're gonna override the styles here so simply i ju just gonna grab this style from here which is font size and just gonna change this base font size from uh, 15 pixels to 14 pixels and also gonna change the width property of this figure element so i'll copy this from here and just go down and here i gonna paste it and let's change this width from 4 to 3 so this will provide a three figure elements in a row when it hits to 1024 pixels so let me show you that uh, it's not changing so let's see what's wrong with this file so you can see that i'm saying media only screen yeah here we need to write and and now you can see that when it hits to about 1024 pixels now there are only three figure elements in a row but when it is greater than 1024 pixels you can see that it has four and now it has three okay now let's see where we need to write our next media query it's about 840 pixels so i have already written all these media queries so i just gonna grab all those media queries from my snippet so here you can see that i have this here and just copy it and i'll explain in a minute now at this time we are just targeting max width of 840 pixels and changing font size from 12 14 pixels to 12 pixels which is base font size and we are again keeping the three images in a row okay so we need not to write this here okay and also we can and then we are targeting the max width of 640 pixels and this time we are changing the base font size from 11 pixels or uh, 12 pixels to 11 pixels and again is at this time we are going to keep two images in a row so we are just saying 50 percent for each figure element so let's resize it to about 640 pixels and see what's happened now you can see that each figure element has a width of 50 percent okay and for the last media query we are targeting the max width of 400 pixels and we are saying at this time change the base font size from 11 pixels to 10.5 pixels and just set the width of figure element to 100 percent so you can see that when i resize to less than 400 pixels and it is it is taking up a full width 
of its parent element which is 100% okay so there are only one uh, figure element in a row okay so now you, you have seen that we have finished our uh, image gallery project which is responsive image gallery created using pure css3 and html5 so guys if you like this video please hit like to this video and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't subscribed yet and if you have any suggestion and feedback please drop a comment and i'll respond as soon as possible thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye